Hey, I'm Ryan Polnow, 2016 Star Chef's Rising Star. We're here in my restaurant, Ache, in San Francisco, California. We're gonna get into the kitchen and prepare a dish based off of a Canary Island style potato. And we're doing all that utilizing the Vita Prep 3. So let's get into the kitchen and get this thing started. So uh, starting with three local seaweeds, uh, we're gonna grind some sea lettuce. Ahead of time I've done uh, nori, and dull seaweed as well. We're gonna load the seaweed into the container. It's been dehydrated completely overnight, so it's uh, dry enough to where we can treat this just like any other spice. What I like about the Vita Prep 3 is uh, the volume that I can do at once. It's much greater than a traditional spice grinder, and also because of its powerful motor, it blends it to a completely fine powder. And then I'm actually gonna switch to using the tamper to get 100% uh, yield on the seaweed. So we ran the Vita Prep 3 on its highest setting for about a minute, and now we're ready to move on to the next step. So we have our seaweed ground, uh, but we're gonna start here with some potatoes. This is a Canary Island style, uh, what they refer to as a wrinkled potato. We're gonna cook it 100% of the way in a heavily salted water. And then we're just gonna allow this to come up to a simmer and then check it after about five minutes, every couple of minutes until they're completely tender. So our potatoes have uh, cooked through, they're completely tender. And now I'm gonna remove 90% of the, the salted cooking liquid. But then I'm gonna return this to the heat and let that last 10% of the, the salted water completely evaporate out so we get a really uh, heavy salt crust on these potatoes. We're gonna start now on a, a sauce called mojo picon, which also comes from the Canary Islands, something you would typically see served with this dish. And so we're gonna start by uh, loading those five ingredients, chilies, lemon juice for acid, parsley, cilantro stems, fair amount of pimenton de la vera, and this is the uh, dulce version, so it's, uh, it's not spicy. Just to begin the seasoning process, we're gonna start with just a small amount of kosher salt. We're gonna turn this into uh, a paste first, and then with the variable speed of the blender, slowly emulsify in extra virgin olive oil. What I love about this blender is because of its high power, it gets such a smooth uh, puree and emulsion that I don't have to pass this through a, a chinois or a fine sieve. It's completely ready to go, so I'm gonna reserve this for the final dish. So we have most of the components to this dish completely ready to go. This, uh, I think, is a really cool technique. Uh, it's something that we call in the restaurant potato coral. What I love about this blender is because of, again, that power, we can put something like a raw potato in here and it's gonna puree into a completely smooth consistency. So once we have what uh, appears to be a loose tempura batter consistency, we can transfer this to uh, a squeeze bottle so we can slowly drizzle that into the fryer. We're gonna transfer that and then we'll head to the fryer to make the finished product. So we have our puree that we made in the Vita Prep 3 and then carefully, obviously, because we're going to a very hot deep fryer of oil, drizzle this in. And now as this fries and the moisture evaporates off, we're gonna slowly collect it so they get, we get one mass. We're gonna drain this out very carefully and we can move on to the next step. So straight from the fryer, we're gonna season these potatoes. You wanna do this while it's hot, so it adheres to the potato crumb. First with the dulse, and then this is a mix of the sea lettuce, as well as some um, nori seaweed that's been dehydrated and ground. So we have all the components ready to go. We're gonna uh, finish plating this tapa here at Ache. It's gonna start with the uh, mojo picon. It's a, a pretty strong flavor, so we're just gonna do a small amount. What we made here is a, an emulsion of uh, jamon ibirico and butter, treated just like uh, a traditional hollandaise, but built also in the Vita Prep 3. We're gonna add just a small amount of that same dull seaweed, adding another layer of flavor. And then from there, our potatoes have just uh, warmed through. This is uh, sea urchin from Santa Barbara. And then since there's so many rich components going onto this dish, we pickled a little bit of that same sea lettuce in uh, soy and mirin with a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And then of course, for texture, the uh, potato coral that we made in the Vitamix uh, Vita Prep 3 blender. And then just a touch of olive oil right on that sea urchin. And there you have it. This is the Canary Island style potatoes with mojo picon, jamon emulsion, and Santa Barbara sea urchin and of course the potato coral using the Vita Prep 3 blender.